Hey guys, what's going on? How are you guys doing? I'm back here again with some more news on this graphics card release. Uh, they released two series of graphics cards. I was only expecting two <laughs> for some reason. Uh, before I start though, I just want to say the show took forever to start. I mean, you no, know, the least they could have done was catch an earlier flight or something. You know, apologize when you get on stage. Say, I'm sorry, we're late. Okay, so they have two series, two lineups of uh, graphics cards here. They have the R9 and the R7. The R9 is geared towards the enthusiast line, and the R7 is geared towards more performance. Do it all, as they said, they're saying down there. Uh, as you know, the higher number is better. We all know that. So the R7 is is lower, but is not that bad necessarily. You know, for performance, for the price, you got to look at is what AMD is all about. And you have the R9, which is higher up and will have more graphical power. So first on the list is the R7 250. Comes in at one gig GDDR5, 2000 on Firestrike, and it only cost $90. Now we have the R7 260X, which packs two gigs of GDDR5, scores 3700 on Firestrike, and comes in at $139. Now we are in the R nine series of graphics cards may i present you the r9 270x 2gb gddr5 scores 5500 on five strike and comes in at 199 next up we have the r9 280x this one features three gigs of gddr5 scores 6800 on five strike and has a price point of 299 of course this is best for last last up powerful beast of a graphics card, may I present you, ladies and gentlemen, the AMD Radeon R9 290X. Now you're looking at it like, oh man, there's no price, where's the price at? Where's the specs at? It's four gigs, GDDR5. I can't tell you about the specs. I know that the memory width is 512-bit, uh, and it has six billion transistors, and the memory bandwidth is over 300 GBS, so. That's pretty much all I can tell you. But I also can tell you that it's coming with Battlefield 4. So if you want Battlefield 4 and you want that card, then you can pre-order on October 3rd. But it's only limited edition. So all in all, you can see a graph there of the graphics cards. I mean, I think they are pretty nice and they are reasonably priced. However, we want to know what the 290X is going to be at. I don't know. They won't say. But I guess we're going to find out on October 3rd when we see the pre-order. But I'm thinking it's gonna be anywhere from $500 to $650, right along the lines of the GTX 780. So when it comes down to getting what kind of car you want, I mean, that honestly is a personal preference. That depends on you. Do you want three gigs of GDDR5? Do you want two? Are you fine with one? Personally, I think you should probably start going on to two. I'm gonna be upgrading my card and going up to two gigs. Uh, maybe even three. I don't know what I'm gonna be getting, to be honest. Uh, so, so no one knows what this the price of the card is gonna be, but we'll have to wait and find out on October third. So all in all, I'm pretty excited about this. So, yeah, definitely. Other cards' prices are gonna go down. So if you want to pick up those cards instead, I really don't know why. I mean, these cards are gonna look really good. Price to performance, GCN 2.0. So, I think you might just be better off going with these lineups. Because I was only expecting like two or three cards to be released, but they released a whole line with different price points. So, I know there's something out there for everyone. Which one are you going to choose?